Samsung Galaxy Fit 3 comes with an advertised 13 day battery life, which is far away from what the users are getting during their practical usage. There are numerous posts about poor battery health and battery draining issues of the Fit 3. And that's why in this Fix 369 curated troubleshooting guide, I'll show you all the different ways to minimize your Fit 3 battery drain, starting off from simple tweaks to big settings changes that will take your Galaxy Fit 3's battery life take count to double digits. We'll start it off by addressing the elephant in the room, the watch screen. It's almost 50% bigger than the Fit 2 and it takes up about 3-4 to four days of the total battery life, give or take. So, if you have always on display or AOD turned on, first of all you need to go ahead and disable it without thinking twice. Then we have other screen related settings such as brightness. Either lower it manually or turn on adaptive brightness. After that, set screen timeout as low as possible. From the same settings page, you can also disable media controls. Now, as your Fit 3 has AMOLED display, you can take advantage of this and use jerk watch faces to greatly reduce battery usage by the screen. Or you can set a custom image with low pixel count and voila, now your watch screen will use the least amount of charge. Some of you may be thinking about notifications. They don't use that much charge, so you can keep them on but you can turn off the vibrations for them and set it for calls only. Additionally, during the times you don't wear your watch or just need to tell the time, you can keep the band disconnected from your phone by turning on airplane mode. Another thing what you can try doing is, when your watch is charging and reaches 100%, instead of disconnecting it, let it charge for at least half an hour more. If your Fit 3 unit gives wrong battery reading, this might just fix it for you. If these tweaks weren't effective in mitigating battery drain, then let's move to the core watch settings. We'll start with raise wrist to wake up screen or wrist detection. For a group of users, wrist detection has proven to use a lot of charge and cost battery draining. So if you have it enabled, try using your Fit 3 with it turned off for a whole day and turn on tap to wake instead. Also, if you don't have any pin setup or don't have to worry about sensitive notifications, then you can disable the wrist detection sensor. That will reduce the battery usage. Even after making these changes, if you're still not getting the desired battery life, let's turn our attention to Samsung health settings. It is the defining feature of your Fit 3. However, setting the heart rate and screen monitor to measure continuously can induce high battery usage. So you can set them to every 10 minutes or to manual if you don't use it extensively. And now let's scroll up again and go to sleep. The same thing applies here. Turning off SpO2 or blood oxygen measurement and snore detection will conserve battery. On a side note, all of these health trackers are not fully accurate, so do consider disabling them. Talking about sleep, a sizable portion of Galaxy Fit community has reported that sleep mode on their watch drains about 15-20% to battery over a single night, which is the opposite of what you would expect. So if you use sleep mode, try disabling it before going to bed and take note of how much difference it makes. If this was the issue, then great, now you should get up to 9-10 to 10 days of battery life in a single charge. And these are all the steps. Now you may get mad at us for suggesting you to turn off all these features. But it totally depends on how much you want to prioritize the advertised battery backup over functionality. And if you don't care about that, then you can enjoy all the features and still get about 3-5 to five days of battery life anyway. So it's totally up to you. I really hope this helped you with your issues, and if it did, a thumbs up and maybe a sub is all that I ask for. Good luck and I'll see you around.